Good afternoon, everybody. It's Tim from uh, Backpacking with Buckley here today. Welcome. I am here today to uh, carry out a uh, hashtag that I was tagged on by Jim Hayes Hiking. Uh, he is a YouTube channel, uh, lives down south, and uh, the reason I watch him is because he is extremely personable and he knows the lay of the land of where he is from. I often give him a little bit of grief because you see his finger come out on his videos because he's pointing out all the peaks and mountains and and uh, kind of waypoints in every place he hikes. He knows every place in, in his area. So check out Jim Hayes Hiking on YouTube. I'll put a link in the description and maybe up here as well uh, so you can check him out. But he tagged me on the hashtag show us your brew, which today is uh, a special day for me and I'm kind of doing it on this day for a reason. Show Us Your Brew uh, primarily was uh, started to raise awareness for mental illness. And myself personally, I have a little bit of uh, experience in the category, both personally and professionally. But I'll start by uh, saying, I'm not saying this to brag or to establish my credentials. It's just something I'm not only proud of, but will also maybe make sense of why this is a personal subject for me. Number one, today is April 1st, ironically April Fool's Day. But as no joke at all, it is my sobriety anniversary. Uh, I struggled with alcoholism a lot through my 20s and 30s, and today marks six years sober. So uh, I'm actually just kind of taking a detour trip to pick my son up and celebrating a little bit by stopping at some uh, like nature areas along the way. I was going to take some footage outside, but it's too windy to record and you guys be able to hear me. Um, but back to my story. I am six years sober today. I'm super proud of that. It does not make me a saint, but I uh, I have kicked the habit of el alcohol for the last six years, despite the fact that I do follow the philosophy of once an alcoholic, always an alcoholic, which to me it just sends me the message that I need to be careful. Uh, but in terms of tying alcoholism and addiction into mental illness and things like that, uh, in my career I've worked with uh, young adults, uh, at-risk youth, and uh, refugees, uh, inmates, domestic violence offenders. I have a pretty, uh, pretty large menu of folks that I've helped in my social work career. And it's probably notable to say I was a bartender for over a decade as well. I count that as social work too. But that being said, one thing that I really want to do, if I had to send a message about mental illness or addiction, is a simple... Uh, message not to the people that are struggling with those things, but the people that are around them. In other words, parents, brothers, sisters, friends, people that are close to those that are struggling with mental illness and addiction. Uh, my message to them is really pretty simple, and I want to tie this back to where I learned it. There is a YouTube video, uh, it's a TED Talks actually, called Everything We Know About Addiction is Wrong. And it, to me, was kind of one of those epiphany moments in my life where I realized that a lot of what we do as Americans, especially with addicts and, and uh, people that suffer from mental illness, is we don't provide them the support they need when they need it most. So the simple message is this. If you have somebody in your life that's struggling with, with any of these things, love them. Make sure that they don't become hopeless because the people they count on have turned their backs on them. I know those concepts are hard when you involve emotion and things like that, but uh, I just really want to uh, condense everything that I have as far as like my personal opinions and say that simple message. Love love the addict, love the person that's struggling with depression, um, all the way up to you know severe mental illness and things like that. Those people need support and love because it is, the, I, in my opinion, the primary key to to keeping them sustainably healthy and hopefully happy. Um, I want to thank Jim for tagging me on this. I don't like to get too serious real often, but his courage and bravery uh, on his story, which I won't share with, with you, you can watch his video, is uh, something that really inspired me to at least open up and talk for five minutes about kind of my own personal um, voyage in life with some of this stuff. And uh, I guess that's the number one reason I wanted to join the hashtag when he offered me to do it. I wasn't going to say no uh, to talking about it. But without having, uh, we don't want to go without having any fun today. And 
I'm going to go with, you know, maybe C minus fun for you by showing you my brew, which is pretty darn boring, but simple. You guys may be seen in my video. My coffee choice now has become this uh, Black Rifle coffee, which are just a tea bag coffee. I carry them because they taste delicious, number one. And number two, there is very little cleanup other than throwing a coffee bag in your garbage bag. Uh, it doesn't get your mug all full of coffee grinds. It's just like a little tea bag. Love Black Rifle coffee. Uh, and then speaking of addiction, uh, I have been drinking energy drinks for longer than I'd like to admit. I drink these rock stars, and uh, because I have kicked alcohol does not mean I don't have some other habits to get rid of, this being one of them. So I'll oftentimes, admittedly, bring one or two of these in my backpack as like a treat for the morning, mm, or for at night, just you know something to excite me. It's my special treat. But I also drink these on the daily. So kick that addiction, Tim. That's really show us your brew for me. Not very complicated guy when it comes to that. I like simple and easy. Um, other than that, I just want to thank Jim Hayes again for inviting me to participate in this and wrap things up just by saying to you guys, uh, please, if you have an addict or somebody that's suffering with mental illness in your life, maybe rethink your relationship with them. And if you're showing them the support they may or may not deserve. I know that gets complicated, but uh, loving those people is... A, a huge key point to their um, potential success in the future. So cheers to all of you for watching this for five minutes and uh, be yourself, be happy. Thanks for watching everybody and we'll see you on the next adventure.